things that are happening in our world right now that will require understanding. For example, um, this uh, vaccine craze that some people want to impose on the world which I said before, it has nothing to do with the health. It's got nothing to do with health. It has to do with what they want to do. And I'm going to show some of these things to you from the book, from the Bible. I'll show them to you. And one of the evil things they're doing right now is a fake scarcity of food. It's currently fake, but they're working on making food really scarce. First is the fake smoke screen. All right, so the smoke screen, there's a lot of food. But then it's because something is being done to make food unavailable and under the control of certain powers and this is why you're going to have to be very very careful um, because many countries particularly in Africa and Asia are being pressurized to accept seedlings with a lot of promise They're telling them to receive seedlings with a lot of promise. And they send out professors, agricultural professors, to lie. And tell them, you're going to have greater yield than you ever had in your life. Greater yield. You're going to have such big watermelons, it'll make your head swell. You're going to have tomatoes like you never saw in your life. Big. Sure. Sure they're going to have big tomatoes. Sure they're going to have sweet watermelon like sugar, right? Yeah, they're going to have it. They're going to have oranges like never before. But! They've been genetically modified, changed, yeah, for good, no, hold on, hold on, I want you to think, hold on, now you get the tomatoes, you get the corn, all right, maize, you get the oranges and they have been modified in such a way that you cannot plant you can't have them on your own anymore they'll destroy your farms they'll destroy your own produce you can't have your oranges anymore these ones that are shipping into your country and then, and you're given seedlings that you can plant this one. They've been programmed to produce for you once only. And so you have to go back to the government agency after your harvest. You can't have another one. If it's programmed to make it only twice, you have it only twice. So you come back to the government and ask for seeds. And if they don't like what you're doing, you don't get no seeds, no food. But that is the smallest part of the problem. I'm telling you, that's the smallest part of the problem. This thing that I'm just telling you is so important that I've got to show you some scriptures as we get along this week. 
What's worse is that with this modified fruits and vegetables, you will be targeted, meaning that with the mRNA that is introduced into these fruits and vegetables, whole communities can be targeted that can determine their lifespan. They can be eating those things and they are designed to eliminate targeted communities. And they can tell from their drawing board that in five years, all the people that are like this, a certain kind of people, will be eliminated. In the Kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment and share. Thank you.